Now we are going to look at the last CSCF known as the interrogating CSCF. When we say interrogating, it actually means it can be used to query or interrogate the location of the serving CSCF of different IMSs if multiple IMSs are interacting with each other. To put in simple words, if there are different administrative domains belonging to different telecom companies, each having its own IMS, in case certain serving CSCF has to be discovered because the user equipment has to interact with it, the interrogating CSCF has a role to play. So, the interrogating CSCF can subsequently forward or direct the SIP messages to appropriate nodes in the visited IMS. Let's look at an example. A session is originated by a user equipment which is visiting a network and accesses the IMS through the proxy CSCF. So the first thing is done is through the DNS service, the IP address of the interrogating CSCF is obtained. And then this interrogating CSCF is approached. It means the SIP messages are first delivered to the ICSCF. Then the ICSCF forwards or routes these SIP messages to the home network serving CSCF before any interaction can take place in the visited network to get certain services. It is done because ICSCF helps the overall IMS architecture to enforce home network control, that is, the overall control for admitting a certain user into a foreign network has to be done after taking a consent from the home network. So the serving CSCF and HSS nodes are consulted. That is why, in short, we say that all SIP messages received by ICSCF are forwarded to serving CSCF. The user details, because the user is registered there, are tallied, its profile is consulted, and then a reply is made back to the visited IMS to deal with the user, either to grant it a service or to deny it certain service. The routing function, which is necessary for the interrogating CSCF to reach the serving CSCF of the user equipment, that is the original serving CSCF in the home network, has to be done. It means how this routing process is going to take place. The addressing information is obtained from the HSS of the parent network of the user equipment. Since it involves a lot of interaction with other CSCFs, the interrogating CSCF is a good place to keep track of the billing and charging. Because when multiple service providers are providing services together for their respective users, the inter IMS calls and services have to be billed differently from the user equipment 
कॉल्ड पार्टी एंड कॉलिंग पार्टी विद इन द सेम नेटवर्क इन सिंपल वर्ड द बिलिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज मैनेज बाय द इंटेरोगेटिंग सी एस सी एफ टू मेक श्योर दैट वॉट एवर ट्रांजेक्शन और इंटरेक्शन टेक प्लेस बिटवीन मल्टीपल आई एम एस एस हैव टू बी कॉरिस्पॉन्डिंगली चार्ज फ्रॉम द रिस्पेक्टिव आई एम एस एस हेयर यू सी दैट द इंटेरोगेटिंग सी एस सी एफ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज नॉट ओनली दैट इट इज यूज फॉर फॉरवर्डिंग द सिप रिक्वेस्ट कमिंग इन फ्रॉम मल्टीपल आई एम एस एस टू देर ओरिजिनल सी एस सी एफ इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर बिलिंग एंड चार्जिंग 